Across central Pennsylvania, there are people who are multiplying good by serving others in the community. The Jefferson Awards celebrate those individuals, and for our first year, Fox 43, along with Donegal Insurance, are certainly proud to be partners in this nationwide program. Fox 43's Madeline Cudahy has been introducing you to our Jefferson Award nominees, and this week, it's a mother who took her family's own tragedy, the loss of a beloved son, and turned it into a network of hope and healing for families of fallen police officers. Sergeant Michael Wigan was killed in a motorcycle accident while escorting a benefit ride. The driver of an oncoming pickup truck lost control on Route 234 and veered into Sergeant Wiggins' lane, striking him head on. Despite valiant efforts by family and friends on the scene, Mike succumbed to his injuries. Kim Wiggin knows the pain of losing a loved one in the line of duty. Her son Michael killed in 2008. He was a major link in our family chain. I'm hoping he'd be proud. Um, Sorry. No, please. Take that is one of the promises I made to him, that I want him to be as proud of me as I am of him. The loss prompting her to start her own Pennsylvania branch of the Concerns of Police Survivors, or COPS, a nonprofit whose sole purpose is to provide peer and financial support to families of police officers killed in the line of duty, an organization that Kim dedicates her entire life and fundraising efforts towards. When Mike was killed, we didn't have a chapter. We just started a year and a half, two years ago, doing a retreat. And we've held it at Seven Springs. And it's a weekend retreat where they just get together and bond. It ended up a big peer support weekend, which was phenomenal. It's a get together that you know, they can share and tell stories, and I love to hear the stories about our officers. That's one of the most important things is, you know, keep saying their name, keep telling their stories, because if you don't, you know, as long as you talk about them, they're still alive. Kim says the support she received from other COPS chapters changed her life's mission, as she hopes to model that love and care for other families in the area. Another mother from Washington, D.C., she came up to me and said, so Mrs. Wigan, how are you doing? And I told her, I'm, I'm okay, which is a typical answer for any survivor. And she says, okay, now tell me how you really are because I know you're not okay. I know all about Michael. She knew my story. And I told her I was in a deep hole that I couldn't get out of. And she says, you take my hand, I'll pull you out. And that woman literally saved my life. And I, I wanna be like her. I want to model her and the other mothers and that I see what they did for me and I want to give back. I need to. Kim Wigan, multiplying good across our state by honoring those who have made the ultimate sacrifice. Madeline Cudahy, Fox 43 News. And you can find all of our Jefferson Award stories and winners right now on our website, fox43.com, where you can also watch previous Jefferson Award winner stories on our Fox 43 YouTube channel as well.